Vega. For Monica Moyer, keeping COVID at bay is essential for the success of her bakery. We make sure that we um, do not allow so many in at a time. I also get every two weeks, I have someone come in and do a COVID spray, just so any little droplet that could potentially harm someone is taken care of. That is to protect the customers and my staff. Um, you know, I take that very seriously because again, you know what I'm saying, with donating a kidney, I have to take all precautions. Hey, hey, Miss Melanie. Hello, Miss Katie, how are you? Doing good, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. good. At Katie Tanner's hair salon, where the sign reminds people that Life is a struggle until you find the right stylist. Now, is there any cool stuff going on in Reedsville right now? Small talk. And it's been very tricky with the pandemic. Quickly turns to COVID conversations. The goal is just to make the downtown. For children not to have any social interaction, and they're used to it for the majority of their day. Oh, yeah. It's very detrimental. For sure. Some of the conversation hits home yeah, like, I mean, quite I literally. I mean, and COVID is no joke. It really is not. I've never had a fever so long in my life. Oh, wait, you've had COVID, that's right. I did. Did your girls get it? Um, unfortunately, I infected my daughter. Her father, yeah, too. She took all the precautions she thought she needed, but... I was misdiagnosed. I was, went to the doctor and said I had sinus infection and bronchitis. Never checked me for COVID, unfortunately. Everyone in Melanie's family recovers. Katie, tell me about your grandfather. Wasn't so lucky. Um, my grandpa was... 82, and um, he was a Navy vet. Her grandparents were married for 61 years. But he ended up getting COVID somehow, we aren't sure. Um, he would only go to his doctor's office, and then other than that, it would have to be his mail or groceries. Her papa, as she called him, died from COVID early this year. It was one of those situations where to see somebody who is a Navy vet and so respectable and just like such a good person be carried out of a house like like manhandled almost you know what I mean um it was just really really hard to grasp that's just unfair unfair a lot of the deaths that I've experienced in my life have seemed unfair it wasn't like they did anything to cause it, you know what I mean?